here is a video um, about doing some different number activities. Um, I did not make this up. I uh, downloaded this from somewhere else, but it gives different ways to use numbers. So this is in our box of manipulatives as visual cues for our team and the kids. So if we're working on numbers, you might be saying, well, Dr. Becca, we can't work on academics. Correct. Um, uh, so you could be in an educational setting and numbers you might be working on. You also might be working on numbers related to how to know to get two pairs of socks or two socks to have a pair of socks because we need one for each foot or how many shirts do you need to pack. Um, so in whatever way you might be working on numbers, of course, go to what your um, sort of funding source and contract say. So um, we can touch and say, which would be one two, three, right? Another option would be to show on fingers. So this is the number three. Show me three would be a test, but teach might be this is the number three and this is three fingers. And you can even step it up a notch by saying, here are three lions. One, two, three. Three lions is the same as this number, which is the same as this. Three, 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 right? And so um, all of that was just teaching. You could turn any of those sections into a test as well if your learner is ready for some testing. Um, so show on fingers, touch and say. We can count out loud, you know, one, two, three four, right? Um, or in whatever way you want to do that. Maybe it's just counting out like one, two. Actually, we have a little bowls that came in this set. So you can drop them in. Sometimes it makes a sound or watching the visual. Three, four. Then they say four, then I drop it, right? Or five. And so you're filling the bowl up. Let's say we were going to count to six. Six yellow elephants in the red bowl. Remember, you can modify the language. You could just say six. Then we can talk about a full bowl and an empty bowl or more and less, right? So we've got all this different language related to early number sense. Um, this set I like too because it comes with tweezers, so you can practice this, picking them up. Um, sometimes that can be fun. Um, maybe I have to use red to pick up the red because that matches, so it's same. The color red for this cow is the same as these tweezers, which is the same as this red bowl. They're all red, right? So we're doing labeling of colors. We're doing same and different. Um, this set has different um, animals. So we have a purple rhinoceros. Or maybe your learner uh, isn't doing sort of adjectives and nouns. And so it's just lion, rawr, right? Or we've got, uh, I think there's elephants in here. Yeah, maybe we pretend to be an elephant. Here's my trunk. Um, maybe we just throw them, right? That can be fun to watch them fall. Um, there's so many different options. Um, another one could be we have these laminated. So uh, let's get two elephants. You put it down and you put two elephants. Yay, two elephants. Or you can give the learner two of these and then you hand them a quantity and they match the quantity to the number uh, that's listed. You can talk about um, the number three and one and put one manipulative here and three here and talk about more and less, bigger and smaller numbers. Um, and again, you can even keep it basic with just labeling colors, the animal sounds, labeling that they're animals. There's so many different ways to use these materials and I hope this is helpful.